today I'm gonna show you how to make people obsessed with you no we're not doing witchcraft we're not doing no spells no hypnosis we're just tuning into the best version of ourselves and using a little bit of that energy to attract others towards us like magnets really I have tried these methods and they work and sometimes it's a little intense I won't lie but it can be fun all right so let's talk I've been someone who has had a lot of social anxiety in my life. I've been shy, I've been quiet, whatever. I know what it's like to get zero attention. I've made peace with getting zero attention. But there have been times where I want to pop out a little bit and get some attention and get people to be obsessed with me and see where I can take that. And I learned how to do that. And it's pretty fucking fun. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. I remember this one day in particular. I don't know what was in the air that day because I stepped out of the house with a last minute plan. I went to the club and I didn't really feel like going. I literally had just gotten home from Cirque du Soleil with my family. I was in bed and I was like, you know what? Let me leave the house today. I literally put on a wife beater, a little bit of eyeliner, no other makeup, I'm pretty sure. And my hair was kind of a mess, but I tuned into the energy that I'm about to show you how to tap into and oh my god i was getting pulled left right and center in these like intense conversations people opening up to me people telling me about everything in their lives just like wanting to hear my opinion people telling me i'm beautiful i'm this da, 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 da. can i please get your phone number please tell me more about yourself like people were gravitating to me like mosquitoes to light it was so weird i was so confused i was like i I don't even look that good like I know that I'm pretty you know it's a great thing to be aware of your own beauty yes I'm aware of it but like that day of all the days I was like why today this is what I look like that day like I looked cute but I was like huh but I think it was that energy that I left the house with because quick little backstory then we will get into it I promise you I was going out with a friend that I had only met once and her friend that I had never met so I was like you know i was kind of nervous my social anxiety was kicking in so i was like okay ashley like don't leave the house with this anxious energy let's tune into that divine energy that we have within us you know and i did that and i said like these affirmations and i did this and i did that whatever we'll get into it and i left the house and i felt good and i was on this high vibe and then by the time i was out i was like whoa what is going on it felt like i had worn fucking 10 pounds of carnelian or something it was so strange it was so strange and ever since that day i just have kind of tuned into that all the time because why not you know so the method that i'm about to share with you will work it will it's not even about believing in it or not it's more about just tuning into the frequency and the energy all right how to make people obsessed with you in 10 steps all right step one find a way to be obsessed with yourself whatever that looks like to you. I'm not saying you need to be like Regina George, you don't need to be egotistical or have a big ass head, no. Find something to become obsessed with. For me, it's my ability to understand others and connect with others. I'm really, really, really good at that. And when I meet new people, I almost find it to be like a challenge of mine to see like how well I can get to know them in a short amount of time, what I can get them to share with me. Not like a manipulative, like I wanna know all your secrets kind of way, but more in like a, how comfortable can I get you in the time that I have with you? Because it makes me feel good to know that people feel safe with me. And I feel like that ability that I have makes me feel really good about myself. And I'm almost like obsessed with that own trait of mine. So yeah, find a way to be obsessed with yourself. Are you obsessed with your ass? Oh, that shit. Are you obsessed with your face? Are you obsessed with your personality, your smile, your laugh, your humor? Find different things and lean into them and find the beauty in them maybe you're insecure that's okay you don't need to be the most confident out there to attract this kind of energy this is for everyone this is for everyone find something maybe you're a really good writer maybe you're a great drawer i don't know so i want you to channel that energy before you leave the house if you think your makeup looks amazing run with that for the whole night one step at a time step two don't chase attract I know you've heard that TikTok with the canoe where she's like, I don't chase, chase. I, I attract. Whatever the that, 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 like yes, cool. That affirmation does work. I don't think it works miracles like everybody was like, oh my god, the sound worked. I don't think it's that crazy. Um, but I do think tuning into that energy is very, very, very beneficial. Understanding that you are capable of anything will get you a long, long way. 
don't chase after things attract them align yourself to the frequency of that which you desire i always say that me with my youtube channel I've been pretty desperate lately. I just want subscribers and likes and comments. I just wanted to pop off and make money and blah, blah, blah. Like, I've been giving my channel desperate energy. And you know what that's done to me? It's made me, like, not have any motivation to create anything. Because it's just this, like, lack mentality that doesn't do anything for me. So I'm trying to get back into just doing what I do best and putting my content out there and hoping it resonates with someone. I got a full-time job so I wouldn't have to worry so much about my YouTube numbers and this, that, and the third. So now I'm trying to give it less of that intense lack energy. I don't want to chase after this dream. I want to attract this dream. Something that really helped me was this TikTok. I'm going to show you the TikTok in a second. This girl shared some really powerful affirmations. In fact, I actually said these affirmations before I went out that night, the day that I was wearing the white beater. Yeah. I said these affirmations before and I've said them on many occasions and I don't know what is in these affirmations but they work these affirmations they feel like a spell because they work I'm telling you use at your own discretion I'm not just saying that use at your own discretion because people will be all up on you and it's gonna be a lot and I was like I remember that night in particular because that was the first time I ever used them I was like bro back up like whoa i was getting dragged 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 i lost my friends four times the affirmations did something and then because that was so powerful i had this like belief in those affirmations so every time i said them like i felt like they were like really charged up so really try and believe in the affirmations that you are saying out loud if you don't it's okay but try your best to just like get into that energy all right so i'm gonna play the tiktok for you in a second and i will write the affirmations in the description box below as well shout out to the creator who posted this video because it really helped. Try this the next time you go out if you want to exude magnetic, attractive, light energy. So when you're on your way to wherever you're going, whether you're walking in an Uber, on the train, whatever, silently or out loud if you want, repeat affirmations for the energy that you want to bring. So for example, I'm saying I radiate magnetic energy. I'm so attractive to everyone and everything around me. I'm a magnet for fun, people, experiences, opportunities. You get the point. I swear when you show up after doing this, people will literally perceive you differently because you have changed your energy and vibes speak louder than words. Number three, always put yourself first. This is key because when you put yourself first other people will see the value in you that you see in yourself for example you're talking to a new guy and you had plans to i don't know paint your toenails white tonight you really wanted to just paint your toenails white and make guac and eat it while watching death note okay this is literally this is an example of something that's happened in my life but then that guy that you know is still early days but you still feeling him you want to go for a chat he messages you right and he's like, hey, what are you doing tonight? And you are really looking forward to that guac and death note and finally painting your toenails white. But then you're also like, ah, like if I don't go out with him tonight, maybe he'll think I'm not interested and then maybe he won't ask me out next week. So maybe I should just like go out tonight with him and then blah, 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 and then I'll just paint my toes tomorrow. It's so like, I have to paint my toes tonight. It's not like I have to watch death note. I'm just gonna do it myself. So I'm gonna do it tomorrow. And you justify it and then you put your nail polish away and then you say, nothing, what about you? And then you go on a date with this guy. You had plans with yourself and you were looking forward to them. So why are you going to put this man or whoever, woman, person, first? Put yourself first. Yeah, you're doing a whole lot of nothing. But that was your plan. Stick to it. Let them know, hey, I'm actually staying in tonight. What's your availability through the rest of the week? Easy. Put yourself first first that's just a small situation of course there's other situations that could come up for example let's say you really want to stop at the thrift store on the way home but your co-worker's like hey can i have a ride home but if you drive them home you won't make it to the thrift store before it closes just say no hey sorry i actually have plans after work yes they're with yourself those count hey sorry i actually have plans after work um if you want i can drop you to a bus station that's on my way there you know what i mean put yourself first you might disappoint others. That's okay because people will have no problem disappointing you. And you'll learn that quick if you haven't already. Number four. So that one kind of goes into the next one, which is setting boundaries and being honest about them. I know someone in my life that I'm very close to that a lot of times when I don't feel like going somewhere, I'll express it to them and I'll be like, not with them, like with another friend or something. I'll be like, ah, oh, like 
this person wants me to blah 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 and like I don't feel like going and then I'm just like kind of expressing like oh man I have to cancel and then she'll always say to me like oh why don't you just tell them that your insert elaborate lie here and I'll sit there and I'll be like yeah I could do that or I could just say I don't feel like going and she's like yeah yeah you could do that and I was like yeah and then she'll be like but like then blah 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 like you know they might like catch feelings and da 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 da, da. like I would just tell them that I insert elaborate lie here <laughs> and I'm like mm, I don't really feel like keeping up with that I'd rather just tell them that I don't feel like going and I'm fucking lazy simple that's a boundary just let them know exactly how you're feeling there are times when I might have to lie my way out of something okay I will not lie to you <laughs> right now I won't lie to you there are times that I'll be like oh man like I'm I'm working a double tonight you know maybe I will lie but nine times out of ten I will be so straight up with you hey I really don't feel like it hey I was actually gonna cook tonight so I don't want to spend money on food hey I am saving right now and I don't think I should go out boundaries are very important there's a book by Nedra Tawab she's a therapist and I actually have not read it but I've read a lot of like clips whatever whatever they call excerpts I, I don't know I've read a lot of um, pieces from the book and it's called set boundaries find peace I think there it is right above little shy shy sleeping there yeah it looks like a really great read and I want to read it and I know I haven't read it so I can't really suggest it to you but look it up and see if it's something that will help you boundaries are very important when you set boundaries people respect you people really respect you people respect when you're honest with them people respect when you care enough about yourself to let them know what you do or don't want to do does that make sense I don't know you know what I mean they will take that energy that you have towards yourself and they'll give you that they'll give you that energy as well they see the worth and the value in you that you see in yourself because you're showing them that you're teaching them how to respect you you're teaching them how to view you in a certain light and that will give them that obsessive energy not like not like we want actual people to be like super obsessed with us but like we kind of do no we kind of do especially if you're dating okay when you're dating when you tell a man hey i'm actually just gonna stay in tonight then they're like oh okay what about tomorrow what about friday what about saturday what is that because they see that you're not gonna drop everything for them like you're not gonna do that so i think it works number five this is something that has had people just want to get to know me more than ever in my life it's so simple be your authentic self when you meet people show up as yourself show up as yourself this will also help you attract people that you actually want to get to know but that's a whole other story if you feel like you're meeting people and you're like kind of a different version of yourself when you first meet them because you're not comfortable yet and then like whatever and you're like why aren't i meeting people that i actually want to get to know and it's because you're not showing up as yourself so you're attracting people that like a version of you that doesn't really exist so that's a whole other conversation however showing up as yourself is so important i used to overextend myself i would meet someone and be like hey i'm ashley it's so nice to meet you what's your name mm, that's a lot that is a lot now i don't feel like i need to impress anybody i think i'm good enough on my own so when i meet someone i'll be like hey i'm ashley nice to meet you what's your name i am myself i find that when people meet me now i see them get comfortable within seconds they relax and then they start showing up as themselves and when people feel like they can be themselves around you that's when they want to be around you because you make them feel comfortable you make them feel safe so they get that feeling where they're like i like this person i want to get to know them i want to be around them and that's where like that obsession <laughs> energy comes in where they're like i want to be around them because you are showing up as yourself and that makes them feel like they can so why wouldn't you want to be around that person so just show up as yourself don't worry about what if i'm boring what if i'm lame it doesn't matter it doesn't matter number six this is another one that you can do when meeting people this is ask people about themselves you will be surprised how many people are just dying to share their day their mind their life with you people don't really ask others about themselves when i meet someone i don't give a fuck about myself not in the sense of like i'm putting myself last it's more just like I don't really care to share with you if you want to ask me questions i'll answer them but i don't really care to say this is what i do this is who i am you'll figure it out 
you'll figure it out in time. I'm in no rush. But I like to make the conversation all about you. So I'll say, oh, like for example, this has been my thing starting my new job. How long have you been working here? Cool, what did you do before? Cool, oh, you're in school? Oh, that's so cool, like, blah, 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 blah. And I, I just like ask them about their school. Like it starts off with two minutes of small talk because I need to figure out like points of relation, right? Once I figure out where I can relate to them, I take those, oh, you're in school for drawing? Oh my God, how did you get into drawing? Like, is that something that you started when you were young or like, did you practice? Like, how did you figure that out? Oh my God, like, what's your go-to thing to draw? Like, do you like doing portraits? Do you like doing art, like architecture? Like, that's when you start getting someone to talk about what they're passionate about. And then that's when their eyes start lighting up. And when you get to that point with them, that's when they really start to like you and they want to talk to you. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sick and they wanna be around you because they're just like, I like this person. However, be careful. This will attract some type of people that just enjoy talking about themselves like an absurd amount. And at that point, you can wean out who you like and who you don't, right? There's gonna be people that just wanna like hang out with you because they just wanna talk about themselves for hours because they're just that kind of person. But then there's the other kind of people that will share so much with you and eventually realize, huh, I don't know much about you, and now it's okay you're to obsessed with me. It's they want to learn about you. I'm they already know they like being around you, but now they're like, hmm, what is it about this person? And that's when it, it, that attraction builds up. This can be platonic, romantic, whatever. This works. But yeah, some people just want to be asked about themselves. It makes them feel really good about themselves, and once they feel good about themselves, they let their walls down, and it's a really good conversation and relationship that can be built from there. Number seven, always hold eye contact. Always hold eye contact. A lot of people don't do that. And I've noticed that a lot recently because I've been working on holding eye contact. There's this book that I read called, oh my God, uh, How to Talk to Anyone. I recommend it a lot. It's above shy. And this book discusses eye contact in one of the chapters. And ever since I read that book, like a year and a half, two years ago, it's been very, very important to me. I notice people getting nervous around me a lot. When you hold eye contact, especially when they're talking, um, it's so interesting, like you just, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. oh my, yeah, just do that, just hold it. They're watching your eyes now, they feel like they're under a microscope, but they also feel like very attracted to you, maybe not in a sexual way, but like more of just like a, like a magnet type of attraction, you know? The eye contact will work wonders, I'm telling you, whether you're talking, whether they're talking, whether someone else is talking and you're like, mm-hmm, and you're like going between them and them, like keeping the eye contact flowing between the whole conversation, they will be so attracted to that and they won't even understand why or realize why. I'm telling you it works. So start making some eye contact. Number eight is don't overshare too soon. Let yourself be a mystery. When people feel like you're a mystery that has yet to be discovered, they wanna be around you and they don't really know why. That's why I was saying in number six, ask people about themselves, let them talk about themselves, whatever, whatever, because eventually they will realize that they don't know shit about you. And at that point, they're going to be like, ooh, now I'm intrigued. So back to this one, it's like, allow yourself to be a little bit of a mystery. Of course, when people ask you things, you can just kind of like answer with the bare minimum, but you don't need to do the most all the time. Like yesterday, I was hanging out with a new friend and I asked her some questions and she was just like, same old, same old. And I was like, girl, like, give me more than that. And I found myself wanting to understand her a little better. And then I learned that getting to know her was not as easy as just asking her simple questions. It was more about getting into other conversations that segue back to that topic. And then I can learn about her at her own pace. She just wasn't so willing to share, which I respected. That in itself is proof. People respect that. When, when you're not just like, oh yeah, I did this and then I went here and like, this is where I went to school. And this, is where I went, this is my first love and this is my first heartbreak. And this is the... That's a lot. Like, that is a lot. It's fun. Passes the time. Yeah. I love a coworker that loves to overshare. To me, those are my favorite because they are so entertaining. Do I want to hang out with them after work? Not really, because I already know everything about them. I don't really care. But it's the coworkers that don't really share much that I'm intrigued. And then when they share the littlest thing, I run with it. And I'm like, oh, yeah. And I find myself getting very attracted to that and very, like, curious about that. And I know that side of it, that's why I understand that when I make myself a mystery in some ways, people get that like obsessive type energy where they're like, I want to know you, I want to know more about you, I'm curious about you, tell me more. And when you keep yourself a little bit of a mystery, I'm telling you, people want to just like unravel that box. So yeah, don't overshare too much. Oversharing is fun, 
But if you are trying to get someone kind of like in that energy of being obsessed, <laughs> don't overshare. Just wait a little bit of time. Be patient. Go tell your friends everything. Go tell someone else everything. Oversharing can be fun though. I won't lie to you. Like I do overshare with strangers that I know I'm not going to see again. I'll tell them everything. I don't care. But when I want someone to stick around, then I just kind of chill out a little bit and it always keeps them coming back for more. Number nine, make decisions on your own. I find that that just exudes this level of confidence. So for example, I don't always like to ask, what are you wearing? I will sometimes, but at that point, I've already decided on an outfit. I've already put on the outfit. I'm just more curious. I'm like, oh cool, what are you wearing? I know my outfit. I like my outfit. I'm going to wear that outfit. Whether you're wearing a dress or not, I'm still gonna wear my baggy jeans and crop top. If you're wearing baggy jeans and a crop top and I, I have a tube top dress on, I'll still wear that dress regardless of what you're wearing because I don't really care. So that's just a small example, but I feel like there's a lot of situations in which I make my own decisions and people don't like that I don't run things by them all the time. They feel like they should have a say, they wanna have a say, and they don't because I don't really care. I might ask you what you're wearing. Maybe I'll ask you what you think of my outfit but I'm not gonna change it. I feel like people just get attracted to that confidence that you might have in yourself when you don't need others to validate your own opinions and decisions. You could do that on your own. You might ask them for a second opinion just for the sake of having one, but it doesn't affect your own decision-making process because you trust yourself enough to know what you want and what you like. And when people can see that you trust yourself, they trust you or they feel like they wanna trust you and they don't even understand why. It's like, a, I feel like it's a subconscious thing. So when you, are able to rely on yourself people feel closer to you and they feel like they want that they want to exude that it's kind of like that do i want to be her or do i want to be with her type energy that's what this whole video is kind of trying to say um her him them you ever see that on tiktok where it's like a bad bitch everyone's like i don't know do i want to date you or do i want to be you like it's literally that number 10 Fake it till you make it. And I'm talking confidence, baby. Fake it till you make it. Nobody knows the difference. Nobody knows the difference. They really don't. I learned this. You could pretend to be the most confident person ever, but really you're feeling so insecure. Oh my God. Like that day, like the one that I keep referencing with the wife beater, I wasn't feeling myself. That's why I didn't do the most with my outfit. That's why I didn't do the most with my, my makeup. I was like, let me just leave the house. I did those affirmations because I wasn't feeling good. I tried to get in the, to the best energy I could. And then I faked it. And then all these people were drawn to me like flies. I ended up having a good time. I actually bumped into four people at the club and I reconnected with them. My ex's friend bought me shots at the club. It was so weird. Um, the night was strange. And after like a couple interactions, I was starting to feel good and I was actually starting to feel confident. But at first I wasn't, but nobody would have known that. And I could tell that they wouldn't have known that. They thought I was probably so fucking confident. I was not feeling it that night at all. My hair hadn't been washed in like three weeks. Like. I, it just I don't, I don't know what happened that day I just wasn't feeling it and the confidence had me believing that I was eventually and it was pretty cool and my last one it's like a bonus one I guess if you ever want to fake confident slow down slow down I'm talking everything people can tell when I'm anxious or nervous or insecure when I'm talking fast or just stumbling over my words or uh, moving faster like I feel like I need to brush blah, blah, blah. But when you are speaking slowly and thinking through your words, you exude more of a confidence that people are more attracted to. So for example, when you talk like this, you're taking your time, blah, blah, blah. Hi, it's so nice to meet you. The other day, this happened to me. What happened to you? You know what I mean? Like that's, that slower tone has people like, in a trance when they speak to you but when i'm talking i'm like oh this happened to me the other day what about you it's like more casual more chill people don't really stop and listen as much so slow down slow down if there's one thing that you want to practice slow your speaking down especially other things as well but just think through what you're saying because when you think through what you're saying you show that you're confident enough to take your time you're going to listen to what i say regardless of how long it takes me to say it so I'm gonna take my time. Anyways, okay. I hope this video helped you guys out. Let me know how it works for you. I'm genuinely curious how this will work for you. Try implementing one to three of these like steps into your day, um, then bring it up to like five or six and then all 10 and 
I'm telling you, you will see changes. You will see changes. If there's two things you can start off with, three things, three things, okay? Find a way to be obsessed with yourself, make eye contact, and slow down. Start with those and then keep it going. But I do hope that this helped. If you have any tips on how you've gotten people to be obsessed with you, then let me know. Drop it in the comments so that we can all help each other out. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this type of content. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. It helps me out so much. It literally takes you one second. It takes you one second to like the video, but it does so much for me. So please do it. Please, I'm begging. I'm really, I'm really begging you. Um, yeah. Okay, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.